Joining me here in Washington, Congressman Elijah Cummings, former chair of the Congressional Black Caucus, and of course currently a member of the Congressional Black Caucus. Are you pulling... It, it, the impression that we got over the past couple of weeks from things that Maxine Waters has said and John Conyers has said is that black lawmakers are pulling their punches when it comes to President Obama because so much of your community uh, and so many of your constituents are so supportive of him. Is that so? I think there's a lot of truth to that. All the polling data shows that the African American community is very protective of uh, our president. Um, and they see him as their son, as their brother. See his, and they're very proud of him. But there's something else that's happening, Kenny. They see, uh, they believe that he is being uh, beaten up every day uh, by the Tea Party or by just about everybody. And while in spite of all of his efforts, uh, in spite of their efforts, he's still making tremendous progress. So they're very protective. So it's a kind of... You know, it's a two, two parts. On the one hand, they're very protective and they really care. On the other hand, they, every, almost every African American person I've talked to said they want him to fight and fight harder because they don't, they believe that he sees the possibility of some bipartisanship from the Republicans, but they don't see it. And so their attitude is that if, if the Republicans are not going to work with us, we're just going to have to go it alone and, and stand up to them. Don't, don't back down, period. So, they're not so, going to give you anything anyway. Right. So the, the community in general, your constituents think he just hasn't been tough enough, but he's, you know, we love him, he's our president, and so we're sticking with him. We just want him to get out there and, and fight. And fight. But what about these tremendously high unemployment rates, which are not new in the African-American community, but nonetheless, that's a community that's been hardest hit. No doubt about and it. And so do you not feel as the representative and leader uh, in your community that you need to be kind of continuing to push him publicly to do something specifically for the community? No doubt about it. We have to do that. Um, and I think in a way, it's good for him. Uh, the president said, and by the way, I'm a big supporter of our president. But he said during the election process, he said, I will not tell you what you want to hear. I'll tell you what we, you need to hear. We need to do the same thing with this president. But I think he's done a lot already. But I think it well, would have been. What does he need to hear? He needs to hear that there are a lot of people suffering. And, and 40 miles from here in, uh, in Baltimore, we probably got black male unemployment of 40 percent. He needs to hear that. He needs to hear that. Um, he needs to hear that he needs to go back to the horse that brought him in. In other words, when he came in, he talked about hope. He talked about jobs. He talked about fairness. He talked about addressing uh, Wall Street effectively and efficiently and trying to make a difference. He's got to go back to those basic points. That's what got him in. The other thing that he needs to do, you know, just like, you know, I, I kind of believe that there is a, a silent uh, minority candy out there, a silent majority rather, and a lot of times they are not being heard. Uh, and I think that basically what uh, Maxine Waters said uh, will cause more of those folks to come out and give the president some backing. I mean, look, look at what's happening in some of these Republican districts uh, where they're going to their town hall meetings. And now people are beginning to say, wait a minute, hold on, you mean you're going to cut my Medicare? You're going to cut my Social Security, but give the riches of the rich tax cuts? What's sure, that? but that's, a, that's kind of an argument that's being had across all communities. But what I'm saying here. is that the, with, with, for the African-American community, what we, I, I think we need, to, we are leading, we will lead that discussion. And, be, and I think the more people look and see what's happening with the African American community, I think the more impact we'll have on those kind of discussions in those Republican districts. Always remember, it's not just the president, Candy. The buck just doesn't stop with the president. It also stops with the Congress. We've got to get a Congress in there that will do the right thing. I want to play you a, a quick, uh, something that your colleague John Conyers said about lobbying the president. Sure. I want him to know from this day forward, starting with the initiative of the Out of Poverty Caucus, that we've had it. We want him to come out on our side. We're suffering. Yeah. So just this sense that he is not on your side, and by that I mean, I think he means the African-American community, but those in poverty, uh, which includes obviously more than African-Americans. So what does we've had it? Mean. I think uh, meaning that we're totally frustrated and that, that again, people need to, un the president, they need to know that the president feels their pain and is trying to create jobs. Jobs has got to be the but number one thing. But you want something specific, specific for the African American yeah. community, correct? No, no, listen. 
we we want you know in this country where they are suffering uh when we have uh major problems that's where we go we go to rescue people to help them out it just so happens candy that in many of the african american community the suffering is greatest uh, twice the number of un percentage of unemployed people. So it would be, I mean, we want the president to go to Iowa, but we also want him to come to Detroit. We want him to come to Los Angeles. And we want him to stick with a jobs agenda. You know what, basically what the Republicans have done, they've argued this thing, tax cuts, tax cuts, tax cuts. But you know what, there's some tax cuts we simply can't afford. Um, let me, I just need a quick yes or no answer if I yes. can get it from you. Do you think that the president has taken the African American vote in the African American community for granted in terms of support? No, I do not. Okay. Thank you so much for coming, Congressman. Thank Appreciate you. your time. Thank you. When we